Hey guys, Dan from Alliance Contracting and Design. Today we're going to go over some basic Bobcat maintenance. We have two S570s. If you go to the back of the machine, inside the door, there's a maintenance schedule. It shows your service checklist and schedule when each maintenance item is due. More importantly, it also shows where all the typical grease points are on the machine. Basically anywhere there's a pivot or moving part, it needs lubrication. Up front, there is a grease point right there for the bobtatch pin. A lot of times this one gets overlooked. On the bucket tilt cylinder, there's another greaser. And if you have the power bobtatch option, there's another one hidden right under there. You also have another greaser at the top of the tilt cylinder. There's another greaser tucked up under there on the stabilization linkage, the other end of the linkage. Up here on this pivot on the upper arm. This one, as you can see, is down inside there. And lastly, for the lift cylinder, it is right there. On this new body style machine, Bobcat has made it much easier to access the grease certs. They're not as hidden as they were previously. When greasing the machine, it is important to get the grease circ on securely and tightly. You want the grease to go in the fitting, not outside of it. As you can see here, the grease is oozing out around the zerk, not going in it. That tells us that there is a problem and we need to free it up. These machines are freshly washed, but typically, before greasing a zerk, I recommend taking a rag and cleaning off the dirt so you don't force the dirt inside of the bushing and the fitting. This makes a clean passage for fresh grease to come in and expel any contaminants. Generally about two pumps of grease is sufficient, but I grease it until you can just start to see it oozing out of the joints. To prevent dirt and contaminants from sticking to your grease points, I recommend wiping them off any excess grease, remove it, and then it's cleaner for the next time. If you notice, on our engine oil filter, I write the date in which it was changed last and the hours in which it was changed last. Now if you come over here to the service chart, it tells you when to change the oil. We choose to change our oil every 200 hours and we choose to grease the machine every 8 hours. How do we keep track of that? Simple, I have a little trick. We keep a dry erase marker inside the cab. You can see we have 511 hours, so 8 hours ahead would be 519 hours. Just write it up there with a dry erase marker. Then also when the oil is due for an oil change. So the main things you want to remember are to grease regularly. If it's a moving part, it has some sort of lubrication point or it needs lubrication. And also keep track of when you are lubricating and changing oil and make it known to anyone that's operating the equipment. Also, it's in your best interest to remove any dirt or contaminants before greasing the machine. We have a hot sea steam cleaner and we wash these machines probably once a week and get all the excess grease and gunk off, wipe them down really good, and that keeps them looking new like this. This machine here is over five years old and that machine number two back there is over a year old. We try and keep our equipment up to date, looking fresh and well maintenanced. That way it's less downtime on the job site and it gives a good company image. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.